Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Ailey. If you're new, today's video is going to be all about eyebrows. As I always find like a lot of these girls that are doing eyebrow tutorials and stuff like that now are a lot younger, and they 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 didn't go through the '90s pencil brow stage. So they have eyebrows, and I'm jealous. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Even ones that come into the salon, I'm always like, never tweeze your eyebrows. Like, really cherish them. <laughs> because once you overpluck them, sometimes they just never, ever, ever return. Anyway, so I have been doing like a couple of tips and tricks while I've been trying to like learn tips and tricks. Because when you don't have eyebrow hair, it's really hard to do a natural eyebrow and have it like actually be an eyebrow. Right now, I don't have any product on my eyebrows, but they have been recently tinted. This one's obviously worn away a lot more than this one has, so this one is going to be my more natural brow. So what I figured that I would do is, this side I'm going to do a really sort of fluffy natural brow, and then this side I'm going to do like a done up brow, just to kind of show you the difference in effect that it has. I've got really natural minimal makeup on just now because I was doing another video. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'll link it up here. Um about kind of how to deal with really really dry skin or eczema or psoriasis on your face and so it's like this really natural sort of makeup I have any eye makeup on so it, it's something that you could actually do if you aren't wearing any makeup but you're like me and if you're not wearing makeup your eyebrows are non-existent and you look a little bit like a mutant so yeah without further ado let's go on to doing these eyebrows these are just the brands that I use you don't have to use these ones there's loads of them you can use Anastasia dip brow you can use the brow wiz you can use revolution you can use elf you can use anything pretty much so my main things that I like to use are brow pomades pencils and obviously tinted brow gel or non tinted brow gel of some description so I said I was going to do this eyebrow the more natural one. So I'm going to do this one first. I'll do it like the way that I would do it if I was going to do a full face of makeup and I wanted like a kind of reasonably heavy eyebrow. So I'm going to comb it out. This is my good eyebrow. As you can see like because I've tinted it as well and the tint that I use for this, I don't have it in front of me, but it's the Revolution brow tint. Uh, the peel off one. I use the tattoo Maybelline tattoo, brow tattoo as well. I really like both of them. So that would be like my first tip is use a brow tint get one of these peel off brow tints or go and get your eyebrows done professionally. So, I know a lot of people are like underline your uh, bottom of your brow first. I don't like to do that. I just sort of like run through my actual brow first. Just to sort of fill in and start getting that shape. I'm not trying to say that I'm a master at brows. I hate my brows. I really want them microbladed just because they've got such a weird shape. So I try and work, yeah, from the inside out because then you're not like committing yourself to drawing like a line and having to like stick to it. I have like a gap, I don't know if you can see that right there, like there's a little chunk of malunk missing. So I'm not going to draw a line over it, I'm just going to like fill it in like a little sort of dot. And at the front, I'm just sort of following the brow hair. Some people's hair goes straight up and down at the front. Some people's doesn't. So, you know, like, don't try and... Mine kind of goes up and over. One of my better brows, I'd say. If you've got hooded eyes as well, it's really good to sort of lift your arch up like that. So it almost looks like you're doing that. But it gives you a little bit more lid space that you can work with as well. So you can see that this one's really flat and really low line and this one's really high. They're going to look wonky anyway because of the way I'm going to do them. So, okay, so natural brow. This is kind of what the whole tutorial was all about. Yeah, so I brush them up sort of like in a diagonal. This is the next step for me. I don't touch my eyebrows with anything until I've run gimme brows through them. Now it doesn't have to be gimme brow, it can be any sort of tinted brow gel. And don't worry if you get this everywhere, the idea is to sort of coat your eyebrow hairs and get all up in there. Oh, can you see what I'm doing? This will be messy and this is why it took me so long to sort of get this technique down because I was always trying to like be really careful and really gentle and like, oh, I don't want to get it all over my face. But you really want to get in there and sort of like coat all of the hairs. Then I go in with my normal spoolie and I'll go around the edges and just really, really lightly touch it just so that I can take away excess product. And then I just really lightly kind of 
like lay the brows how I want them or the brows, the brow hair is how I want them. Right. Now I have messed up my foundation and stuff like that around about so I'll grab a little brush better. go underneath if you need to as well and it just sharpens it up a little bit so it gives the illusion that you've actually spent a lot of time on your eyebrows when you haven't really. These come out so thick as well. Thick look. I think that this eyebrow looks way thicker than this eyebrow and I've done way less work on this one. So if it doesn't quite look right, I don't like doing this with a pomade because I find it's too heavy, but don't mind this eyebrow pencil, it's the wrong shade for me right now. It's a little bit warm, but if you find there's any sparse bits, like I get a little bit down here, you can sort of just run it over them a couple of times. And then if you want to just like sharpen up the tail or anything like that, you can and I'm talking just like little feather light strokes. Nothing crazy. Like that. So obviously to sort of not look like a total mismatch. <laughs> I've done this a lot heavier than I would normally. Normally I would just go through lightly or if I wanted to sort of thin it out a little bit I'll brush through it with a clean spoolie. So it was pretty quick wasn't it? <laughs> it's not quite as defined and it's not quite as dark and it's not quite as chiseled as this one. It is following more of my natural brow. Now with this one it is full of gimme brow but if you want that extra sort of insurance you know for like the rest of the day grab your brow setter and just carefully because you don't want to pull any of the gimme brow off just run it through it and it'll hold it in place but it won't affect like what you've done to it really so there that was actually a lot quicker than I thought it was I, I didn't actually remember that it was that quick to do so I'm gonna zoom you out so there you go which side do you prefer I'm living for this side right now. So that is my sort of really, really easy brow tutorial. But all you're doing is really, really, really thickening up your brows and underneath where your brow hairs are, you're getting it with the gimme brow as well. Now, I'm saying that you can use other brow products. I don't, I haven't tried this with like other, I don't think I even have another one just now, with other, um, brow mascaras, but I'm pretty sure it would work. It's the same sort of idea. All you're doing is you're just sort of cheating it. It is a more sort of natural look that I would say this is a lot more chisel. This is the side that I would wear if I was wearing like a kind of heavier makeup. This is the side that I wear generally day to day. Sometimes I'll make it a little bit lighter depending on what foundation or what makeup that I'm wearing. If I'm not wearing any makeup, I'll, I'll just kind of make it a little like a lot lighter than this and brush it out a little bit more but as you can see you can get pretty much the same effect and it takes like what 30 seconds to do it really didn't take that long so yeah you're welcome for the easiest brow tutorial in history I don't know if anybody else has done a tutorial like this I haven't seen it I sort of just had to kind of come up with this on my own when my eyebrows were driving me insane but yeah so I hope all these tips help you and if they do then obviously I would love if you would give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post videos three times a week. Usually it's Monday, Wednesday and Friday but for the past wee while it's not but I am trying to get back on track. But apart from that I will see you guys hopefully in my next video.